Near Stuttgart in Schwabia, South Germany, Uwe Peterson has been working out here since he was 12. He became a champion bodybuilder. Alexander Baumann and Uwe Peterson. His body was his masterpiece. But three years ago, he nearly lost his leg in a car crash. After several operations, infection set in and he developed multiply resistant bacteria. He lost his hip joint and nearly his leg too. But finally, his leg was saved by this man, Dr. Fleischmann, a pioneering trauma surgeon with a passion for maggots. They worked where antibiotics failed. The infection was so bad because normal antibiotics just weren't working. It wasn't possible to get rid of this infection despite all efforts because of resistance to antibiotics. It was only when we put the maggots in that he recovered because the patient was so against amputation. He's really helped me with the maggots. He's been really helpful. I'll always be grateful. I'm sure this treatment has a future, but people simply mustn't be afraid of it. They're just little things. It's not bad. It's nature. <laughs> Maggot therapy doesn't only have a future, it also has a past. There have always been tales of old soldiers whose lives were saved by their wounds being infested by maggots. Soldiers like Albert Schlotterberg, who was just 20 when his leg was blown open in the last days of the Second World War. Before giving me the narcotic, the doctor said that the leg must be amputated. It's over for you, my son, he said. But he refused amputation, and accidentally, the wound became infested by maggots. The wound flesh was green, like a rotten ham. The first aid attendant took the maggots out with pincers, put them aside, then put them back after it attended to the wound. He said, the maggots have saved your life. Now that old remedy is being born again. In the little town of Bietigheim, Dr. Fleischmann has been healing wounds with maggots since 1996. He now treats 250 people a year. Maggots are delivered fresh from Belgium for the twice-weekly outpatient clinics. They are put on the wound for three days and work by clearing away the dead flesh and bacteria. Dr. Fleischmann's main innovation is the bio bag, a sort of tea bag for maggots. The trick dabei is that the maden The trick of it is that the maggots secrete digestive juices and they spit it out. And when they're in this bio bag, they stick their little heads through the pores of the material and spit the secretion through the pores into the open wound. The bio bag means the maggots, tiny before they have fed, can't roam freely around the wound, which can cause patients pain, or around to the hospital, which can spread infection. It also helps with the disgust factor, as neither staff nor patients have to see the maggots. Disgust was certainly something Renata Rilling had to overcome. She developed chronic bone infection after a motorbike accident in 1984. Long stays in hospital and a string of operations didn't help. And once the infection is chronic, antibiotics are useless. So she opted for maggots to her children's disgust and her own. The disgust was very great, really, and even today when the packing comes open and I see them by chance. Oh, they're really disgusting. <laughs> Big, fat and ugly. This feeling isn't yet quite gone. I don't love them yet, but it's getting better. At first it hurt quite a lot, bone pains, real pains, so I could hardly walk. After five or six times, that was over, and now it's OK. This is her 11th session, and the maggots are working. The wound has nearly closed up. They've gone right in. We'll soon have you fit and well. Many patients arrive with bacteria that are already resistant to antibiotics. Maggots are their last resort. For others, maggots can mean that antibiotics are not necessary. 
but when appropriate, antibiotics are also used. We take the view that one must use everything to get rid of an infection as quickly as possible. The bacteria are life-threatening. That means we must use all the weapons we have, including antibiotics. Maggots can also be used instead of antibiotics as a preventative measure. For example, on diabetic wounds, Otto Hunziger has a deep hole in an already half-amputated foot as a result of a diabetic condition. Along with one doctor in the US, Dr. Fleischmann specializes in skin stretching for chronic wounds. The hooks are his own design. By pulling the sides together, a wound that could take nine months to close can be closed in a fortnight. Fleischmann's extra is to introduce maggots to the wound to prevent infection. They are very cost-effective, very efficient, and thus extremely useful, in my opinion, for the third world. But not just the third world, our basic problems are the same everywhere. That is, if we have a wound or an open bone break, the risk of infection is extremely high. And in the meantime, the bacteria have got used to the antibiotics. Then we have the problem that we get infections that we used to be able to get rid of with antibiotics. That means that maggots are taking their place again in medicine through the multiple resistance to antibiotics. For Uwe Peterson, maggots were the answer to his multiply resistant bacteria, as well as to amputation. The problem was so bad that in a well-known clinic they wanted to amputate the leg right up at the hip joint. A really bad situation. The next step is to get him a hip replacement so he can really work out again. And Renata heads home with more maggots on her leg. This is seltsame Gefühl des bleibt. The strange feeling is still there, but it's getting better. The funny thing is that people who know I'm having maggot treatment don't say, how are you? They say, how are your maggots? 